Greetings everyone and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. Where in the last episode we held a relatively uh, successful uh, two days. We uh, had a very short mission. I need to remember to check how many engagements are in each mission. This is something I must get better at. But uh, we've also completed our assembly project and uh, generally the, uh, the city's Anarchy is not looking terrible. It could be better, but it could a lot, uh, be a lot worse. Now, it is finally time to see if Talk can get... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Talk has got more. Mobility increased by 1. Dodge increased by 20. Ooh. Hardening agents' response, uh, response to live fire exchanges allows them to react calmly and think tactically, even when under intense pressure. Now, that for Talk. Talk's dodge would be so high that Talk would generally speaking always get only like one or two glancing um blows but uh, first off let's go with the the hp I'm, I'm sorry talk it pains me to take you out of of the squad but uh, you know what being that reliant on anyone is not necessarily a good a good uh, good feeling to have i don't like the idea of of being so unwilling to take one person out of the squad no one should be that important to the team's success uh, if they are, then I need to learn how to play better. Uh, right, weapon optics. Only takes two days. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Verge, I'd like you to, to hang out in assembly today. I am going to take Blue Blood with us into uh, onto a mission. Now, let's have a quick look. Uh, I could... I could increase this. Plus five credit income and plus 50 credit bonus on doing missions here. Now, the thing with that is if I go for that, then it means I can't place down another another um, field team. And uh, honestly, gaining, gaining this would be really nice. Should we go for that? Because in the long run, this would pay off a bit better. What day is it? It's Saturday. So we've got a whole week. A whole week until, effectively, uh, until we need more field teams. So, you know what? Sure, that extra 50 credits for the, the armor upgrade would be fantastic. So we are going to drop that down right now. Extra 50 credits on this mission. We don't really need the Illyrium, so we're not going to be going for that one. We are instead going to be going for flow control. I think this is, uh, this is a given. Ooh, uh, a new recruitment drive, apparently. Okay, assemble and train staff for a new field team. Requires special agent or higher. Requires one or more finance field teams at rank two. Aha. Five days, but a free field team. That would be very nice. If only we could get talk on this tomorrow. Then it would we would have that field team in time. But I don't think we're going to be doing that one. That's a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well. Oh well, right, let's go back to the city map. We are going to be taking on the flow control mission. One laser sight, weapon mod, and 50 credits. Hostiles threatened a local hydro technician. City Works has no idea why, but requests we get their employee to safety. Right, first and foremost, uh, we want to make uh, available all items. There we go. Our body armor. I'm sure you can have the Mac weave. Uh, I see no particular reason not to. Um... Trank rounds would be nice. Breach item, we don't have one. Uh, let's have a look. Blue Blood, how are you doing? You've got the tracer rounds. I would actually... Well, I mean, that, that extra aim, though. It makes you crazy, crazy dangerous. But is that really what I want? That is a fair question. Do I want you to be crazy, crazy dangerous? Um... Also, we're not going to need the auto keycard, though. Uh, I wonder if if Terminal can hack several doors in sequence. Hard to say. Um, no, we are go we're going to take that that out. I'm going to grab the tranquilizer rounds off our uh, off Dragon, and we're going to equip those on Blue Blood. Let let's try and build up more and more intel. We do need it. Right, there are projected encounters one. Okay, projected breach options, just straight out of the vehicle. Okay, so knowing that, we this shouldn't be terribly bad. Okay, let's launch. We're getting a lot of only one mission, uh, one uh, one breach missions so far. This is interesting. I haven't had an opportunity Friendly to VIP explore Push through multiple to breaches. The evac. 
Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, last unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. Nice. First unit through this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. Uh, that is going to be... Godmother. Last person is going to be terminal. Um, yes, it will be terminal. Because terminal, other than Godmother, does decent damage. More than the pistols, at the very least. Right. Let's go. Breach, breach, breach. I should have used the. Uh, I should have used Godmother seconds for the hollow targeting. That was a bit of a shame. All right. Well, Alpha Strike fires a shotgun during the breach and gain an initiative boost and one bonus action on the first turn. That's uh, quite nice. Now, going for that shot is no use to us right now. That's a big shame. That is a big shame. Uh. Uh, terminal will hit, but that high cover is offering quite a lot of armor there. Uh, a shame, truly. Uh, all right, well, let's go for the highest chance we have, which would be you. Alpha strike, please. There we go. One down already. Next up. Now, Phalanx, I would very much like you to grab that. Let's uh, make sure that this one does not attack anyone else. There we go. I know we lose that whole turn, but it's it's fine. Lancer shot. Blue blood's a lancer pistol. Ignores cover bonuses, making it useful for taking down entrenched enemies during the breach. Oh. Oh. Now that is very nice. Okay. So we've got 100% pretty much on everyone. This is very nice indeed. There's a codex over there that I'm not happy about. Uh, I could go for you. In fact, we, it'll be a bit of a shame because uh, I've just had uh, had uh, Cherub Phalanx. Though, I, yeah, if I'd realized that we could use the Lancer shot in a breach, then I would have set this up a little bit better. But uh, it's still only an 84. Granted, you're one of the more dangerous ones for us. Chunk, nice shot. And you can't miss, so uh, please finish him off. There we are. Very nicely done. Very nicely done indeed. Hello? Hello? Game? Game? Oh. I see the VIP. Head for the evac. Where would that evac be? Evac be? It's going to be on the other side of the scallywags, isn't it? Of course it's going to be on the other side of the scallywags. <sighs> Alright. Well, Godmother's up first. Wait, who's up next amongst the enemies? It would be the Codex. We don't want to be out in the open for that shot. We really don't want to be out in the open for it. But it is going to be a problem, because there's no way that I can realistically get over there and then take care of it. I could flush them out of their cover, but that's not much use to do until later. I may as well just pull someone up in the field team a little bit sooner. Cherub is already going to be going soon. I'm actually going to pull Blue Blood up. Yes. Blue Blood, let's get you up in the, the turn order. There you go. Then I'm going to have Godmother prepare. Because if I can set up Blue Blood with Overwatch, well, actually, Blue Blood probably wouldn't be the best one with Overwatch. If I'm honest, uh, I could get up there, maybe go for the bruiser. Blue Blood's going to get a turn. Would need to deal with the Codex or this bruiser as well. Though could just simply get out into the open, maybe. There we go. Now another thing I could have done is had uh, Cherub uh, next in queue to give Godmother a uh, a bit of cover there. Now, if I shoot this car, will it explode? There's a chance it might. There's a decent chance it might. Try not to hit your own cover. Let's go for that. Alas, no. And I missed. Oh, that was awful. That was truly awful, actually. All right. Uh, well, we could have Overwatch over here on the Codex should it start to move. That being said, I could just fire my weapon first. Who have I got a chance on? 65 there. 
Hmm. It's not a great chance, honestly, but uh, sure, let's uh, go for you. There we are, nice. And... Whomp. There we go, that's the, that's the problem with codexes. Uh, I could finish the codex off, perhaps, with another 65, or I could just go into Overwatch here. I think that would be a wise move. That codex has to do something. There we go. Right, as for you, I want you down there. Then I want you to hunker, please. Oh, you're teleporting Scallybag, you? Who are you going for? Who did you just hit? Oh, oh no. Man, I'm out. That sucks. Enormously. Alright. How about you drop a shield on Godmother then? There we go. Now we could do a charge bash still. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage and it would leave you greatly exposed. But we don't want to be in this blast area at all, realistically. Um, so, let's relocate. Let's get out of the worst of it. There we go. Guarding. Go. Okay, a little Causing bit of damage. Oh, that car's on fire, though. Well, I call shenanigans on this. Okay, that car isn't. All right, so Weapons you know, dry. maybe it just takes a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's pretty rough. I don't want Cherub to be there anymore. Like, super don't want Cherub to be there. Actually, this is massively bad. Um, I'm gonna drop safeguard on Cherub. Need a little help? Preemptively. Let's get your health topped up. Let's get up. your insides back inside. Indeed. Nice thinking. Yeah, I, I always love it when my insides aren't leaking out. It's the best feeling ever. Uh, right, we're in a rough position because we're right in the middle of this, and I'm going to assume that that is going to explode. Uh, that being said, these locations are safe. That one does not look like it's safe, though. And being next to this car, not a clever move. This is not good, but Gotta at least moving. being here means that we're outside of this vortex. You gonna go for Godmother? No! Going for the civilian, you scoundrel, you. I'm running low. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We've got a 33% uh, chance of a crit here. But next up is you. 151 there. I could make a move. You haven't lost your shield yet, so I could stand out in the open a bit. I could suffer it. Don't take cover next to the car, though. That being said, can I take the codex? I could. I wonder what we'll get for subduing a codex. Can we even subdue a codex? You're safe. Get moving. No, we can't. Of course we can't. That makes all the sense in the universe. Uh, right, Blue Blood. You need to be away from this car, because I've got a funny feeling that it is going to explode. If it gets shot again. But who have we got... Yeah, Lance shot is purely a breach. Okay, well, that's a little bit of a disappointment, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Alright. We can take a shot and still move. Yeah, fire weapon. Nice, a critical. Very nice indeed. We could move to this other side. We'd probably get that uh, civilian out of the way. Or we could just stay here. Are we outside the... Potential uh, effect of that exploding on us? We might be. Take another shot, sure. Ah, bad luck. But you still did a little bit of damage, which is always good to see. Uh, let's get you over here, and I want you to hunker down again. Moving ever closer to our evac. And down you go. Uh, did we avoid anyone taking damage? Yes, we did. Whew. Okay, no one, no one got exploded. That's always good to see. Who are you Darn going it. for? No ammo. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we'll we'll take care of this. We need to go away from this car, though. So with that in mind, you're up next, Bruiser, and then the trooper over yonder. 
That is actually full cover. Don't want to take cover next to a car, though. Um, drop another shield. This time I'm going to drop it on uh, on Cherub. Popping and blocking. There we go. Now, can we do a charge batch? Can we actually reach anyone? No, we're outside of range for anyone. That's a shame. Okay, let's move over. I should have popped it down on the terminal, realistically. Oh, my lord. My Providing instincts were right. Cover. My instincts were right. It's fine. Now Cherub is going to have a bit of a buff there. Someone's going to have a very bad day. Godmother's with some decent cover here. Okay, not terrible. Great, I'm out. It's all right, it's all right. And now then, the sorcerer is up next. You can't attack. And right now you have no cover, so let's deal with the cover situation first. Hopefully. Well, that's why I dealt with the cover situation first. So that I could immediately do this. There we go. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to go for Cherub? I really hope you will. No. Oh, you scoundrel. No ammo. Uh, it's fine. Uh, how can you flush if you've got no ammo? Oh, you've got low ammo. Fair enough. Could go for a shot. You've got a 50, ch 50 chance there. You can move up here and possibly take the trooper. I'd need a crit though, which is, uh, there's no guarantee of. You've got 50 there, 29, 67. You'd have to roll really high. Uh, 61 on you, actually. Codex is up next. Cherub will be up soon and can drop another shield on Godmother. There we go. You were a bit of a pain, I'm going to be honest. And I'm glad that you've been removed from this engagement. I've got a 61 on you. That's crazy considering. Okay, not great, but still not awful as well. Could go into Overwatch and hope that you pop your head out. Uh, we've got a decent chance of a crit here, but honestly, I think the best option is... Well, no. It's unlikely you're going to move anywhere where I'm going to get a good shot on you. Go for him. There we go. Oh, that was unintentional, but awesome. Very... <laughs> Very unintentionally awesome. Also, I unintentionally choked, my lord. Uh, right. I want you to... I would like you to get closer to that location, but uh, let's get... <laughs> I can't believe I just choked on my words. Ah, oh, my lord. How embarrassing. Oh, thank goodness you didn't go towards the uh, VIP. Oh, man, I'm out. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. At this point... I think we need a shield on our VIP. Protected from all angles. There you go. Now, you can't actually get any closer to this scallywag, but you can... Uh, sorry, you can't get close enough to hit them, but you can get closer. And a lot of their options are now, uh, are now shielded. Are they going for the VIP? No. Going straight for Cherub. That's fantastic. The Cherub's going to have two charges now. Charged up. This is gonna hurt Weapons a lot. Dry. All right. I could have you reload, but right now I need the uh, the VIP. It'll be field. fine. There we go. And reload, please. Ready for anything. Now, what I don't want Ammo to do up. is to ex extract too early. Cover me while I reload. Will do. Rare Reloaded. that I reload. Very rare that I've reloaded. 
Uh, 59% chance there, 31 here. I'm actually going to flush you. Let's get you out of there. Forcing a retreat. Where are you going? Okay, you're out in the open now. I'm out. Blue Blood should have a much better chance of hitting you. As soon as he reloads. Now, what I don't want to do is Back in extract the VIP because I've got a funny feeling that's immediately going to cause the VIP to... Uh, sorry, reinforcement waves to start happening. That's that's fine. That's honestly fine. <laughs> ah, I love that ability so much. All right, let's uh, move forward. Doesn't actually matter where you go now. But that's good enough. Darn it, no ammo. It's fine. You're going to do an awful lot of damage with this. Uh, actually, they're going to still be out. Wow. Okay. I'm a little bit surprised. Either way, though, kinetic shield on yourself, please. Now that's protection. Indeed it is. And you're about to use up all of your charges. I Cherub, you, you can blow up the car if you want. No, no, you, you can't. Thought okay, I had it. Mind. It's okay. Closing yeah. in. Everyone is protected, including the VIP. That was a completely scallywag move, by the way. Going for the unarmed civilian. Right, okay. Time for us to start relocating, I think. Uh, where are reinforcements going to be coming from? Right there and over here. Really? They're coming out of this van? Can't we just shoot the van? I mean, I think we should be able to shoot the van. Those are there. Okay. Uh, right. Let's move forward. On the run. You're you. taking a turn at six. I don't need to worry about that. I could get terminal healed up a little bit, and I think that might be a, a wise move. Let's just, let's just get you healed up a bit more. Get uh, the protection on yourself. Our VIP is about to extract. Right, there we go. Heading Two over. nasties. And a third nasty, all right. That third nasty is right next to a car, though. We might be able to use that to our advantage. Uh, I strongly suspect we will be able to, in fact. Cherub is not going to get a turn before. Uh, who is going to go? You. Okay. I could move up there and probably eliminate this unit, but honestly, getting further forward is a higher priority for me right now. You need to start relocating and, and uh, removing ourselves from this this uh, this problem. I can always have Cherub drop a shield on Godmother. Not before you move, but if I'm lucky, Blue Blood may be able to wipe you out if uh, Godmother can get a good attack here. Cover me. While you're out in the open, that is wise. All right, what have we got? We've got a 52%. It's good enough. Hadley wasn't that good. It's all right. Blue Blood may be able to save the day here because they are effectively flanked for Blue Blood, and Blue Blood has two shots. One, nice, and number two should finish him off. Yeah. Uh, that being said, could we go for a subdue? No. A shame that one, but uh, all right. Take him out. There we go. All right. Godmother can get the shield in a moment. All right. You need to be out of here. Let's move. There you go. And evac, please, and thank you. Oh, man, I'm out. It's okay. You've spent this entire battle out. It's fine. All right, you're going to get a turn. Who's up next, then? You're going to go down. You will get a shot on terminal, like straight in the back on terminal, which is ugh, not great. Who is the more dangerous, do I think, here? You've got a pistol. You have got a rifle. I'm going to assume that Godmother is going to need this more. Can I not? Oh, I can't drop it on Godmother. I don't have line of sight. Oh, that is unfortunate to an extreme. All right. Armored up. That is extremely unfortunate. All right. Take out this Skyliwai, please. Book him. Indeed. Let's straight into the location. And on the plus side. Expunging target. Oh, what? Why? You've got a shotgun or a rifle. 
I, I apologize for my mistake earlier. But why? Expunging target. Okay, now that was... That was the right thing to do, given the situation. Yeah, scoundrel for doing it, but it was the right thing to do. Um, right, well, we can drop a safeguard on... Uh, on Godmother. Let's get you sorted out. Let the high-tech spray do its work. There we are. I needed that. You did, actually. Right. Let's go for a 70. This will do a good bit of damage there. I'm running low. It's fine. All right. We can move forward. Cherub's going to get another opportunity to drop a uh, shield, which is going to be awesome. Now, I don't want to be anywhere near that bloody car. I really, really don't. If I approach, we are going to have another round of uh, another round of reinforcements, and I'm not looking forward to that, honestly. So instead, On the let's move. get all the way down here, take a shot. 84. I actually got a 69 on you. Wow. Really? Uh, only minus 2% due to weapon range. Honestly, if I could remove you from the... Yeah, okay. Ah, damn. Oh, well, it, it's not a big issue. I was basically banking on not being able to deal with that situation anyway, so... Alright, let's move in. Bruiser may well take some damage here. A goodly bit of damage if we can. 88. 82. The 88 and the probable elimination. There we go. Nice. Darn it. Those crits no on Blue Blood are amazing. Right, you are dro dropping a kinetic shield on. Really? You still can't get Godmother? That is some absolute scalawaggery. Of course. It's my fault I put Godmother behind the car. Still, though, frustrated. Deeply frustrated. Alright, let's move over. Shifting position. I actually should have gone for the protection, realistically, because uh Reducing you've got profile. A pet enchant for taking a shot, a long shot at Cherub already. We've seen that happen. Yep, once again. What I didn't want though is to be behind the car, but the ouch that hurt. Damn, that was a bad move, it seems. Quite the bad move. Right, you've got a kinetic shield. I could pop up there. It doesn't matter too much right Headed now. Worm needed. Indeed. And what you're needed is to heal Cherub, because, uh, Gremlin well, on, on the plus the side, I wasn't behind the car. And that's what you're I was trying best. to avoid, because uh, explosion, explosion damage. I'm not sure if his uh, shield will protect from that. Uh, you can stay there. Honestly, your shield is way too important. I can allow you out for now. I've right, got a lot more troops moving in. Rolling out. Hello. Hi. I wonder if mutant civilians can end up going berserk. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Right, number three is all the way over there. We could actually get Godmother a good way out of here, but she has no cover to speak of. No realistic cover, anyway. I could get behind here, maybe. Up there, but I would be out of uh, cover, unfortunately. If I reload here and take a shot, you're going to be massively exposed. And you're just as likely to shoot Godmother in the back in that instance before Cherub gets a chance to drop another shield on it. That being said, it's unlikely you're going to do a lot of damage. All right, reload. Reloading. And with that, oh wow! How did you not? I don't even. Sincerely, don't even. Weapons running low. We've only got one shot. It's all the shots you're gonna need, hopefully. Let's take him out. There we go. Very nicely done. Right, need you to be on the move now. Let's get over there. You're gonna have to reload in a moment. Oh, Cherub is not gonna be able to drop a shield on Godmother again. Uh, I'm so sorry, Godmother. I'm trying my best. I really am. Expunging target. Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Maxed out. That's actually quite unfortunate, I'm going to be honest. Oh, man, I'm out. It's okay, it's okay. I could go in there and get Trooper 3. 
No, I couldn't. I'd need to reload. Uh, you're relatively well protected right now. So I'm, I'm going to have you stand over here. I should have done this before, but... Uh, right. Who are we going to drop it on? Who's most likely to be shot at? We've got... Godmother there. Possible. From two angles. Terminal, equally possible. Honestly, there's no... Guarantee here. Drop the kinetic sh shield on terminal for the time being. And that's just hopes. Hope. There we go. Guarding. Gonna go for Godmother, aren't you? No! Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, it's prevented you from losing health twice, at the very least. What? I... Engaging. I mean... You ended up getting a critical, so I can't say it was a bad move, but at the same time... What? The Dickens. Uh... Let's safeguard let's Godmother. Let's get your insides back inside. Indeed. Their units just don't seem to be bothered actually trying to stop us. I mean, I'm alright with this. Um, I could force their turn down the timeline a bit, I guess. Or I could take a shot at a pretty high chance to hit. Cherub will get a turn after you, but until then, you're going to be well out in the open. I could instead move you back. Godmother and Blue Blood will have a turn before then. This is kind of a nothing turn. Uh, go for it. We'll be aggressive rather than defensive. I may regret that choice, but uh, it is a choice I'm making. Alright, if we went for a shot here, we've got a 69, 60, or I could relocate. To somewhere a bit closer where Cherub would finally be able to see you to start uh, popping down some healing. Uh, some shielding, rather. I could also flush. Ooh, that's a good point. You're up next. Sure. Destroying cover. I mean, I hope you do. Unfortunately, you didn't. Now, the nice thing about that is that's moved the bruiser that much further back. Should be very very nice right let's get all the way back here and then reload there's nothing else we can do those free reloads would certainly Good come in handy now there we are you have to move forward again ah damn it darn Any it shots, no certainly. ammo it's fine drop the shield on terminal please Seriously, Cherub's shield is just the stuff of legend at this point. Reloaded! Got reinforcements coming in, but our entire team is almost at the evac point. Two nasties for Terminal once again. If we have an opportunity, this is the turn where we just dash everyone to the exit and leave. It's gonna hurt. Oh no, you have to reload! Fantastic! Now, can Godmother make her way down there? No, not quite. Terminal can't either, really. Um, the problem is putting you behind this car. Uh, so risky. That being said, the dash can only just not reach. So from here, it would be able to, I imagine. And no one needs a lot of healing right now. So we can leave the, uh, the safe card protocol on Godmother for the time being. Let's go for it. If we're unlucky, we might hit the car, which would also be lucky. Yep. Done and done. No ammo. Despite this being only a one breach encounter, this has been a I'm long running low. mission. A really, really long mission. We are not going near that thing. We've seen how dangerous it is. But from here, we might be able to do some damage. Let's move up. Desperately need the team to start uh, getting out of here, though. All right, who's up first? Where's number three? Three is all the way over there. Only 39% chance to hit. 47 there, which isn't any better. I could go for pre uh, preparation. Uh, no. 
I think in this this instance, just go for the shot. It doesn't do much, but uh, thankfully the stock gives a little bit of damage no matter what. Right, you could take a shot and then relocate. Or relocate and then just bail. Either way, I think not being on this side of the fence is probably the wisest move. So let's let's move. You can still take a shot once you get there. You've still got a shield as well, which uh, gives you a lot of advantage over the others. Uh, I guess... I mean, if we had Dead Eye, we'd do even more damage. You know what? Sure, let's just go for it. Oh, bad luck. We still do a little, did a little bit of damage. Less than usual because of the armor, but it's fine. They're going to just start taking long shots now. So we're relying on, on them just missing a lot more than anything else. We can't blow up that bike. It's already gone. Ouch, those critical shots, though. Those critical hits are nightmarish. Drop a shield on Godmother. Godmother needs it more right now than anything else. We can then take a shot or two, maybe. In fact, this is a time when we want a uh, overwatch, I'm going to say. Yeah, we'll I'll possibly catch you. three or two as they Locking move into down. better positions. Who's up next? Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's fine. We can't charge Cherub up anymore, but uh, it's not too bad. Eradicating. Please, no. There we are. Now, Cherub is going to be the last one out, unfortunately, on the next round. Locking down target. The problem here is there's just so much Ammo's damage potential. Out. Yes, it is. And I'm going to have to dash you in order to get out. That is a wretched position to be in, but it's the one we're going to take. Because if I stop to heal anyone, we're not getting out of here. Godmother can get out. Cherub, uh, I'm really sorry, mate, but you're going to be on your own after taking two two shots, really. Zivac. Ammo out. It's fine. Let's get out. The positioning was awkward. We got the VIP out of there a long time ago. Really, I shouldn't have moved Godmother further forwards. That's one of the big things that's held us back here. Uh, I can still take a shot and retreat. Sure, take the 40% chance. Uh, unless we go for you. No, go for the 40%. There's a small chance you'd be able to do something. That being said. Yeah, you can't see any of the one, the number two or three. Go for it. If you hit, clonk. There we go. Nice work. And now bail. Moving. Eyes you just open. have to get through two moves, Cherub. That's all you need to do. They're reasonably far away. There's a good chance Eliminate. they're not going to be able to do too much damage to you. Uh, okay. You took two to damage. Location. You still got some armor, though, which is very nice. They're pistoliers, so damage potential is a lot lower. But wow, this has been a messy engagement. The messiest that we've we've okay. Uh, I'm moving. Had the displeasure of having to deal with. Is there anyone we could take out with a shot? Last cheeky shot. Oh, that's fine then. We may as well leave. There we go. Still excellent. Godmother did get wounded in that one. It took us ten rounds to complete. That's probably one of the longest engagements we've had. Um, we killed four enemies, captured eight, so we're getting twenty intel guaranteed, and rescued seven civilians. From the archives, I always hated Riverside. The people who lived there rolled over for advent early into the occupation. Propaganda studios relied on Riverside locals for supportive sound bites. It's funny how quickly they changed their tune when XCOM won the war. It's different now, but I'd rather not give my business to people who were so willing to sell us out. Stay out of Bugtown, a local's guide to City 31. We got a laser sight, we got 50 credits and 20 intel. Unrest in the Fringe has risen to five. But Unrest in the Highland Square has dropped. Uh, sorry, has risen to two as well. He didn't actually stop anyone from rising, which is unfortunate. I must right. ask for a favor. Oh. Sure. Okay. What's up? A new restaurant opened on the promenade. Steak sandwiches. Processed cheese sauce. Authentic old world cuisine. You can't eat that. You'll die. But you can. And with your consent... I can share your sense of taste. Yeah, man. I'll taste greasy food for you. As long as we split the cost. Deal. 
That is just actually so ridiculously charming. Poor old Verge. Verge can't eat steak with cheese sauce. Man, I feel like brewing a cup of tea and just pouring it out in, you know, just for him, in his honor. But I, I love how Cherry was like, nah, sure, that's that's fine. I mean, you're gonna share the cost if you're sharing the the delicious taste, but that seems fair in my opinion. Well done, Cherry. Right, let's have a look at you, field agent. Now, warm welcome. The first shot in each clip disorients the target. Nice, and. Ever vigilant. Blue Bloods automatically activates Overwatch if the last action of their turn is spent moving. Includes using abilities that can provide movement, such as subdue or stabilize. Wow. That is fantastically good. Though I'm wondering how you would decide where you were aiming with that. Either way, I think that ability is, is bonkers insane good. All right. We're back in the red, which is a shame. Uh, Talk has got one day on training. Verge has got one day on the assembly, but we don't need Verge there anymore. The assembly is going to complete in one day regardless, so we can now have Verge do some spec ops if we really wanted to. Um, do some legwork. We could do some glad handing. Um, not with Verge, though. Not with Verge. I think, as you've just got a promotion, Verge is going to take your place. And you're going to do some glad handing. We need those credits, please and thanks. There we go. Three turns, but it'll be well worth it when it's done. Well, well worth it. Now, let's have a look at the supply. How much do we need for that? 200. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll actually, I think, uh, glad hand gets us 80. Yeah, 85. That'll that'll give us enough. So in three days, we've guaranteed got the uh, the armor that we want. All right, with that, let's go and have a look at what we've got. We've got a support 31 PD raid. We'll get 50 intel. Bonus. Or investigate strange device. Now, that one will give us an extra 60. And that'll bring us closer to our goal, but it won't give us the goal that we want. So I'm not sure that that's worth it. The intel will immediately give us another field team. So I'm leaning in favor of the of the field team. An anonymous tip suggests a nondescript apartment is a stash house connected to our current investigation. 31 PD requested reclamation. Back up their planned raid. By all means. There we go. City Anarchy has risen to two. There's not much we can do about it. Uh, actually, I may have been able to pause it, but pull, uh, freezing it at full anarchy would not help. Thankfully, there was no opposition at the stash house. Still, 31PD is grateful for the assist. Assembly complete, weapon optics, and talk has completed training basic conditioning. The progeny are kidnapping hybrids and turning them into psionic thralls. The process is irreversible. Stop the abductions so we can ensure the city's hybrids return to their lives. I was wondering about the thralls. They all seemed to, to look like hybrids. Okay. Stop hybrid abductions. The progeny are kidnapping hybrids and turning them into psionic thralls. The process is irreversible. Stop the abductions so we can ensure the city's hybrids return to their lives. I am sure that Cherub will be especially thankful for this one as well. Right, scavenger market is open today. Oh, we've got a lot of things to look at. Ah, AP rounds. Hand machine from ultra-strong, ultra-light alien alloys. These deadly rounds will effectively bypass all enemy armor to deal unmitigated damage. I mean... That is crazy. Clip size increased by two. That's very nice. But we're not spending our intel on this. No. Uh, new supply items. We've now got the laser sight and the scope. Now this, combined with the tracer rounds, would, would make blue blood ridiculously good at aim. But it costs 80. Not something we want to go for just yet. Uh, weapon opt optics are complete. We can now have a look at a couple of other things. The enhanced uh, weapons. Improved med kits, modular androids, expert field teams. We're getting close to the point where we're going to want that. But I think it's probably going to be something like um, pistols. Honestly, that would give the, a, a bonus because it, we'd get that for Cherub and for Blue Blood. And right now, getting the uh, the biggest benefit is uh, more important to me. Okay. Held at five. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, training complete. Very well done. We could just take you forward. Get mobility increased by one and dodge increased by 20. How much would that actually give you, Talk? In terms of your dodge at that point, how much would you have? I'll give you 40 dodge passively, 
plus the loadout, which gives you... Oh, actually, no, it was uh, one of these, wasn't it? Uh, let's have a look. I'm fairly certain one of these abilities gave you extra dodge. Did I not? Perhaps... Uh, it's Mac Weave, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, which we have there. 50 dodge. I will give you so much dodge. Talk would be extremely hard to hit with a full, with a full uh, shot. That'd be very, very nice. Well, let's have a look at the missions. We can now go for this. It'll drop it by two, so we realistically need to. You know, simple as that, really. This one will rise by a little bit. We could freeze it so it doesn't rise, and that would be quite nice. Um, having that one go up to four though isn't necessarily the worst thing for us. I could let that one get to four, because then I'm going to have more likely uh, a, a situation where I have a choice between two places at four, and I could use the freeze to hold that there. There's still a potential that we'd have that choice here, so I'm I, I'm more willing for that one. Yeah, and in terms of field teams, oh, we can't afford a new field team. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay. So realistically, we're going to have to get the intel from uh, Stop Psionic Recruiter. But we're going to have to check that out in the next episode. Uh, we are probably going to be bringing Verge back into the team. As far as the assembly goes, I'm thinking the enhanced pistols. It's going to take us six days, though. So it's a, it's a long train, but uh, should be worth it in the end. But that is it for today. I really do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And will be joining me for the next one. Until then, and as always... Do take care.